A pleasure to be all at last, and until dawn on face cam specials insertions season six is added for the second time so far. Sam and Mike are just sitting in the cabin again. Not good. And you know, just the good old usual stuff that's happening around here. Hopefully, I feel like I might be at the point where the end of the game is pretty much just on its way. Because I certainly do remember this very point is where the rest of the characters do come back together and they try to formulate a plan to eliminate the Wendigos. Basically, try to escape this huge curse, pretty much. It inhabits these mountains late at night and you're stuck with these monsters until dawn. And so, I could see why it's called Until Dawn, but all right, well, I guess first things first, just walking around the house, trying to find out where the crap I'm supposed to go, and more importantly, look at all the space that we previously explored. Okay, of course that door's gonna be locked. Lots of locked doors around the whole house. It's like, you cannot seem to figure out where the crap you're supposed to go. And is there a map of some sort or any kind of indication letting you know what you're supposed to be doing since there isn't, I almost guarantee that some people are just having trouble with this whole spot in the whole game. Trying to get everybody back together. I don't know, any other words I could probably mention here? Yeah. Quite a bunch of them, actually. I made two whole playthroughs of the game, pretty much. I played through once, just because, and, you know, same thing would go with the second. Because there are, after all, multiple ways you can end the game. Either with multiple survivors, or no survivors. I pretty much made my first playthrough where only a few would get out. And the second one, well, pretty much everybody would die. As unfortunate as that might sound. So... I would pretty much just make it possible right, for that spell. whole thing to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to think about it. And, um, otherwise I'm not really seeing a whole lot to complain about here. Alrighty. Uh oh. Shit. Uh oh. Sam. Crap. Run. Looks like they're coming Run. in the house. Oh my gosh. Y'all better make it out. Okay, you better get... And go lock the door. And probably go at least buy it some time. Oh man. Oh my god. Yeah. They might try to find a way around though. Of course we're not gonna be able to get through the door easily, but you never know. Okay. Let's go up the stairs and find a safe haven. Uh-oh. Don't. Yeah. Oh man, that's not gonna be good. Oh, gosh. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and you notice that the light bar that sits in the front of the controller, I never quite knew that that was such a unique function. And well, it looks like it is. I mean, this is one of the very, very, very few examples of that truly serving a good purpose here. And the fact that the game itself tends to actually notice when the controller is moving. Because it gives you these kinds of tests. Oh man. And now they're fighting each other? I mean, really, is this what it's all come down to at this very point? Is it really gonna be that big of a freaking deal? Alright, well. It looks like, yeah. They trip the gas main. And when they trip a gas main, of course that's gonna be a freaking ingenious idea to go blow up the house and burn them all down okay well I suppose the biggest thing here is simply put to oh man like really I don't quite have oh man why would you kill one of your own like, what is the purpose in that alright so yeah I just gotta not move like what the crap Scrap is the point here. Was the whole thing about this supposed to be about the ensuring that the Wendigos die and everybody pretty much lives? 
I got a freaking oh, get it myself. Oh, oh, man. Of course, that's not going to do very well. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Like, just going inches away from each other. And yet, the Wendigo still doesn't freaking see you. Oh, man. Like, where do I even begin here? What in the heck, man? Okay. Like, I get that you're hiding and all, but how does it not find you easily? Is it really based on movement? Like, what is this Jurassic Park? Oh, man. Wow. Okay. I guess that's a whole new one right there. But, anyways, I'm not quite seeing whole lot else to talk about here you simply watch the action as it unfolds and I'm sure some people out there might basically have something to oh yeah that's pretty clever right there you got two freaking wow oh man wow here we got ourselves good old Sam Surviving until the very, very end. Just what we would have normally expected. And with that in mind, that pretty much concludes this piece of Face Cam Specials Insurgents. Well, there's the... Wow. Yep. There's the Wendigo flying in the air. What a way to end a game. Being the first of its own kind, it's a bit of a tough deal at this point. Well... It just ends with credits, of course, with interview segments, but there's probably not a whole lot left considering there's only one.